So I've just finished another roll of film in this Nikon F3. Today I thought it'd be a good learning experience for you guys to show you how to load and unload film in this camera. So let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, I've finished a roll of film in this F3. So I'm going to show you how to do this in reverse to first unload the film, then load it, obviously, as my film's already in there. So I happen to have this Nikon F3 original case, so I'm just going to pop that off. Slide this off. And the first thing you're going to want to do if you're unloading your film is to look for this button right here, this little notch. Once you press it, the film is released from the spindle and then you can fully rewind the film back into the cartridge. So you're just going to press that and that should be good. The next step is going to be to actually rewind the film into the film cartridge. So if you look on this side, this is the film rewind lever. You can flip this up. If you look right here, there is actually a little arrow that indicates the direction that you should be turning the crank. It's clockwise. So we're just going to turn it you're going to feel a little bit of tension and resistance. And once that resistance stops, you kind of feel it right away. It, it becomes very easy to turn the crank. And that's when you know that your film is fully rewound. As I'm turning this handle right now, there is no longer any resistance. So I know that the film is rewound. Once that's done, you just want to put the little crank back into its case. And this part is done. The next thing we're going to want to do is actually remove the film from the camera. And to do this, there's actually a little lever right here. You just want to push it right. There's a little arrow indicating which way to push it. Once that is pushed, you can raise the handle, pull this up, and the latch actually pops out. Now, my latch on, the, on this F3 actually sticks a little bit. So I actually have to pull it and actually manually release this latch. As you can see, the film is fully rewound. I'm just going to lift the lever up and remove the cartridge. And that is how to unload film in the F3. The next thing we're going to do is load film back into the F3. I have this bulk rolled canister of HP5 that I've bulk rolled myself. And if you're interested in learning how to do that, check out the other videos that I've made on this channel. To actually load the film canister into the F3, we're just going to take the canister, put it back into the camera, lower this knob, stretch the film out a little bit, as you can see over here, there are sprocket teeth, and you just want to line that up with the little cutouts on your film to make sure that it fully cranks when you're turning your film advance. So we're just going to take our film and slip it into this little spindle. It has little cutouts for the film leader, so it goes in pretty much only one way. And like I said, to make sure that your cutouts in the film match up with the sprocket teeth, you're just going to want to turn your camera on. Because once you advance your film, the film's going to get locked into the spindle and you're pretty much good to go. Fire a couple shots. Just to make sure that the film is fully in there. As you can see, it is wrapping around that spindle. I personally just fire off one or two shots, making sure that the film is fully wound into the spindle. At this point, I'm just going to close the back of the camera and turn it right side up. And this little window is the film counter. It shows you how many shots you have taken, how many shots you have left. What you're going to want to do is just to film advance, fire off a shot, advance, fire off a shot until it reaches one. And once it does that, you know that you're on your first frame of film and when the camera is ready to go. Zero. And I am on one. So if I fire my shutter, I'll be taking my first shot. And there you have it. That was a pretty simple process as this camera is pretty easy to load and unload film in. I hope this video has helped you out and if it did, give me a thumbs up, share this video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Running up a hill you can't see over All the gravel standing at your feet Miss the way you see me when you're sober Wish you saw the